Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you are subscribed down below. So for today's video, we're going to review and install this unit from omgherhair.com. And I just wanted to show you guys what I got in my package along with this beautiful wig. So this is their classic brown ombre coarse yaki texture straight wig. And it is a 13 by 6 lace frontal. And look at the lace on this baby. Like, she is transparent, she's HD, she is giving scalp before even going on my head top, okay? And it is already pre-plucked for you, the knots are already bleached, like it's giving natural already. So first things first, I always customize my wigs on my Manny head because I get to go to the roots with the hot comb. If I was to do this on my head, I'm gonna burn myself. Like, guarantee if I want my hair to be flat and I put it on my head, and try to hot comb, I'm gonna get a burn. I'm gonna get some scalp burn, second degree, how many degrees? No, I'm gonna do it on the Manny head. So this wig came in 20 inches. It is 180% density, and I'm absolutely loving the color and the texture. It's giving natural. It would look like if my hair was this long and I decided to do like a little highlight situation, the texture is gorgeous. Now, even though it's pre-plucked, I feel like I'm still seeing a little bit of a line situation in the front. If you guys can see what I'm talking about, like it's invisible, but it's still there. So I'm going to do a light plucking at the front, like nothing crazy. Just want to loosen up that line look because when you have like a straight line look on your lace it's gonna be super obvious in pictures and stuff like that so we want to loosen some of the hair in the front so just do a little light plucking also because of the shape of the lining of the unit it doesn't necessarily mimic my natural hair lining so i want to do that by loosening and like taking out some of the hair in the very front so it doesn't look so much like a widow's peak how my hair lining is it goes a little bit back in the front so i want to make sure that it looks like my hair lining as best as possible because i don't want it to change my features at all like no ma'am is pam so now i'm going to go in with my flat iron and with this hair as i as i said before it is a coarse yaki texture so you won't get this hair to be silky straight however i'm flat ironing it to give it a more uniform look i want it i want it to be laid i want it to be a yaki straight bust down okay so i'm just gonna go with this um flat iron that i got from amazon and i turn it up to about 400 um degrees this hair can take heat Okay, she is 100% human here. The quality is amazing. So she took heat really well. She didn't burn or anything like that. Like, look at body, dry wear. Okay, and also I don't want to use any type of oils, especially when I'm wearing a colored unit. Oil's going to make the hair look heavy. So I don't, I opt not to use oil. You can use like a, a lightweight, sh not even sheen sha. You can use Tresemme lightweight, lightweight serum but that's it and also look at the top now i'm a lazy girl you already know if you're new here i don't do ball cap method baby like it's too much work like i like to put on my wigs and get to where i am going so um i flip my wig over first and i also tighten the bands on the inside and then i just flip her over and just make sure everything is in place now with this wig i got it in a medium cap size i have a unique shape head i feel like like i naturally have a hump in the back but um before we get into all of that look at the lace girl like as soon as i put it on i'm like oh my goodness scalp flawless effortless this can be worn as a glueless as long as you tighten the back the band in the back to suit and fit your head properly you don't need glue for this honey as long as you cut off the lace and everything is a little flat but um, we like a little bit of security over here. So I'm just going to show you guys my method of how I install my unit. It's really easy, quick, and also it's not for the, the long wear type. Now, if you want to wear something real long, you got to use one of them really good 
hair glue but um if you're like me and you don't wear your wigs to bed you like to take it off and you don't mind installing it the following day you use the ebin spray it is lightweight on your edges you are guaranteed to still have your edges once you use this for the other glues i don't know baby i can't guarantee you anything but with this i guarantee it won't rip your edges as long as you're using water to remove it and not just ripping it off of your head and also as long as you don't feel tension trying to force a wig on your head this wig is laying flawlessly on my head top so i know it's not going to be pulling and tugging on the front of my head no i like to cut around my ear just to make sure that it's laying flat if i want to do a slick back type of a look and yes honey like look behind the ear she is laid for the gods Now, when you want to cut off your lace, you want to do a up and down motion. You don't want to go straight across because it is more visible if you cut in a straight line. So you want to do that zigzaggity. You don't want it to be straight because it's going to be obvious with the blending and all of that. And so I'm just going to cut off the extra lace right here. And one thing I'm going to say is if you're going to wear makeup to install your wig, make sure you're using a really good foundation because I decided to use that Mario, that makeup by Mario makeup foundation and girl why is it like disappearing with the lace i usually use nars and Lar nars stays nars is my favorite foundation the makeup by mario is too light to be worn while you're installing a wig like no ma'am i'm disappointed it gives skin but it's coming off with the lace i don't like that so i'm gonna stick with my nars when i'm doing my little hair videos okay so now i want to do some layering in the front i love layered fronts with a yaki texture here it just gives me like them early 2000 type of a look and like a silk not even like a silk press it's giving more like a straight and natural hair look and i just i just love it so i just do my little method how the girls back in the day used to cut the layers you know just going by sight and faith and not actual technique and then i just curl it inwards with my little flat iron and that is basically it for the layering love 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 layering because it shapes my face so well frames my face and it's just gorge now once i am done with that and my wig is properly melted like girl skin scalp everything and then i'm just gonna touch on my makeup in the front because why why are you lift why are you moving like the foundation isn't supposed to be moving like hello then i'm gonna go in with some bronzing powder that matches my scalp and then because we didn't do the ball cap method and this lace is so see-through um, i'm gonna go in with that powder to just hide my wig cap so it's not obvious and also I wanted to do a little cutesy hairstyle with this. I didn't want to just wear it flat down. Like you already see how it looks flat. Like I want to do like a little, a little pinup type of look with it because it's giving very much like it's my hair. <laughs> so I just did a little bit of um, flat twist situation with bobby pins. And that is basically it. Let me know what you guys think about this unit. All the details will be down in the description box below. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. And I love y'all so much for watching. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys.